goes out to all you natural girls, you know, you girls with a womb, for those of you guys that it matters, <laughs> it does to me. On the day you were born, God looked down at the place you lay, he took a deep breath and he on the clouds and blew them away and heaven and earth he built took him just six days took him twice as long to make that smile for your beautiful face as if itchy eye because you're a natural girl just a natural girl They made a give me that ball. Div. <laughs> Send a letter to Capris. They made a recipe for your eyes and took the twinkles from the stars and placed them inside of your eyes.
blushed at your beauty when <laughs> when they caught a glimpse of your legs, your arms, your fem, and it charms those charms. Cause you're a natural girl. has been muted. Lawyers! Because you're a natural girl. Yeah. Just a natural girl. I'll climb the walls, climb the highest steeple. At the top of my voice, I'll sing to all the people. I found a girl. all you lovely ladies you lovely lovely ladies oh yes <laughs> got hiccups mm. with music window music window what should we play mm. go on I'm trying that one Gary mm. Jules <clears throat> have taken over the asylum yes no, I'm not afraid to do the Lord's work
They call the ride and sun, and it's been the ruin of many more boys. I said, God, I know, oh God, I said, I know I won't. Oh, my mother was a tailor. So my new I wrote jeans. My father was a gambling man. Yeah, I said down in New. He likes to battle the nags in New Orleans. A round robin. <laughs> now the only thing a gambling me. And a drum, and the only time he said his mind is when he's on, when he's on a drum. In New Orleans Oh mother Tell your children come Not to do What I have done I said spend your lives In sin and misery In the house of the bride of the rising sun Well, like a wolf foot on the platform And the other foot is on that train And I'm going back to New Orleans Ball and chain. Well, there is this house in New Orleans. They call the rise and sun. <clears throat> and it's been the ruin of many more boy. I say, God. I said I know I won't. House of the Rising Sun. Good evening, forensic students. How are you all doing? Hope you had a nice day on Fly Earth, a stationary, non spinning, where water's always level. Fly Earth. Don't ask me what the shape of it is. Uh, it could be anything. For all I know, we live inside a cosmic egg. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I don't have a penis <laughs> Sometimes I feel like my only friend Is a plastic surgeon I paid to cut off my willy <laughs> Now I'm never lonely But together we cry I think I should rewrite this one <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner Sometimes I feel like my only friend 
is the city I live in, the city of angels. Lonely as I am, together we'll cry. I drive on her streets, cause she's my companion. I walk through her hills, cause she knows who I am. She sees my good deeds, she kisses the windy. And I never worry, that is a lie. Cause I don't ever wanna feel like I did that day. A little bit like, take me to the place I love, take me all the way. Cause I don't ever want to feel mm, 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 Like I did that day Take me to the place I love Take me all the way It's hard to believe There's nobody out there There's no aliens but there's God It's heaven, it's not space It's hard to believe That I'm all alone I'm not alone, I've got a baby Jesus. At least I have his love. Cause Jesus, he loves me. And I'm never lonely. And that ain't no lie. <laughs> Cause I don't ever wanna feel like I did that day. Take me to the place I love. Take me all the way, I don't ever want to feel Like I did that day, take me to the place I love Take me all the way And then he goes, yeah, yeah, but I can't play that bit because it's full of bar chords Yeah, bar chords mm -hmm. Let's sing one for God, where's my Heavenly Father song? It's right at the start, of course it is Hallelujah this one goes out to the Heavenly Father, our Heavenly Father. What are you looking at, Dafty? No, don't wag your tail. <laughs> get off, we're not doing anything, you get lost. Run away your trees. You just had a massive load of potatoes, you little dim. Well, I've heard there was a secret chord David played and it pleased the Lord, but you don't really care what music do you well it goes like this the fourth the fifth the minor four and the major lift and the baffled king composing hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Faith was strong, you need to prove. Saw her bathing all through her beauty in the moonlight over through ya. She tied you to the kitchen chair She broke your throne and cut your hair and From her lips she drew Hallelujah 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 Love is not a victory march 
gets cold and broken. Hallelujah. 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 What's really going on below? But now you are never showing me, do you? Well, I, I remember when I moved in you. Holy Ghost was moving to every breath we drew. <laughs> Four times was hallelujah 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 maybe there's a god above course there is but all I've ever Learn from love how to shoot somebody throughout Julia And it's it's not a cry you hear at night It's not somebody who's seen the light that's cold and broken Hallelujah That one goes out to uh, God Almighty, the Almighty High that created all things and is going to end all things. The beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. <sighs> Should it not be the Alpha and the Zeitgeist, the A to the Z? <laughs> the Alphabet. There's a reason it's the number one bet. Oh, you want cuddles before I start the stream, do you really? Oh, it's my favorite. Yeah, do we, yeah. Watch that head, you smack me right in the jaw, really, one. Get excited. You nearly knock me clean out, you did. Who would have known a 10 kilo dog could nearly knock you out? Will you stop, you little bugger? Yes, you've had your strokes, you've had your loves, you've had two walks today. Two, I'll, I'll remind you, dog. Twice you've been out today. Once with Rage and then once with me. So don't give me any eebie jeebies about not being tired. Right? And you can stop fighting and now you can go back over there, you big fatty. There we go. <sighs> Thanks for the loving. Uh, right. Stream time. Marlo, it's stream time. Go and lay down. No, go and lay down. We're not playing. Get off. Don't you start biting. Stop it. Yeah. No. Don't, oh, you're so gorgeous. No. Uh, right, let's get rid of that. Stop it. I mean it. We're not playing. Get off, you div. Where's your weedy ball? Play with that instead. Not your squeaky. You're not having the squeaky one. You're going to have your weedy ball. Where is it? Find it. Where is it? Where's your weedy ball? Can you find it? Where is it? I know where there's one. Right, I give you one out of the kitchen. I know where you put it, put it in the garden, aren't you? That's why you can't find it. You oh, you bugger! You nearly knocked me over. What's the bottom of my shoe doing out my trainer? You little tart. You're chewing at my shoe again, aren't you? Ooh, weedy ball. Weedy ball, man. Weedy ball. Weedy ball. Weedy ball. Go on then, beat her. Look how happy you are. <laughs> yeah, let me put 
little blanket back. Thanks. See, this is my bed. Right, that might keep him quiet for five minutes. Why am I on the wrong page? Oh yeah, stream. The phone now! <laughs> there we go. Uh, welcome to the show, boys and girls. Uh, you are. <laughs> forensic students around the world. And you are now all around the world. Uh, and lots of uh, students in Vietnam, Thailand, I know you like the work also. Thank you very much for sharing me and liking me. Uh, there we go, let's go back there. How about Britney Spears? Yeah, Britney's got a spear. Britney's got a spear, a spear mate. You get it, it's in the name. Uh, I can't believe there's people that still don't know how to search Facebook and Twitter. How can you be on that platform that long and not know how to search someone's profile? 8 p.m. every night, UK time. 8 p.m. UK time. Oops. Time every night. There you go, folks. Uh, whatever time that is in your part of the world, that's when I'm live. UK time. 8 p.m. Uh, right, let's tweet it. It's, it's been paste booked. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> That's a nice one. <laughs> when you steal someone's beam and post it back to the same line it came from and don't realise. Uh, I've only done it a couple of times, but it has been funny. Uh, right. Um, let's see. Uh, right, we're done. Um, we are looking at... Uh, where do we stop? One second. Uh, the human skull, male and female. Uh, the male's got a bigger face. It's quite identifiable. Look, it's bigger. There it is in real life. Look, it's a bigger skull. It's a bigger face. It's got bigger teeth, and it has certainly got bigger, wider cheekbones uh, than the female counterpart. Uh, but these are the ones I use because it's the basic uh, facial ratio. Uh, around the world and it's clean to see right you can when you overlay it you can still see the face lovely the only reason i put the triangle there is to show you that it's got a bigger uh, face recognition uh, identifiable by a bigger triangle even with this one uh, and it's not perfect because the eyes are pretty eye mounted i think uh, it's still it's identifiable right the male is just bigger all round no matter what versions we look at uh, African, Indian, uh, Chinese, Tibetan, it don't matter where we go in the world, the male's bigger, okay, he's got a bigger face. Uh, further apart eyes, squared or rectangular, rounded close set eyes for a woman, John Lennon glasses versus aviator chick uh, glasses. Uh, large cheekbones, large jawline, uh, all round, it looks like a square or a rectangle, the shape of it, right, just the outside of it. The outside of the woman, though, looks like an upside-down egg. Sloping jawline, pointed chin. Uh, excess of copyrighted material may, under certain circumstances, be quoted verbatim for purposes, such as <coughs> criticism, news point, teaching and research without the need for permission, formal payment to a copyright holder. To the noddy holder, no one is getting a shackle out of me. Uh, we stopped right there, didn't we, on Julian Casablancas. Uh, it looks like Dan Salty Crack. Oh, I forgot to mention last night. Oh, we'll go back to that when we get to it. Uh, right, okay. Um, I posted, I tweeted, we're on the next page. Let's say hello to class. Who was first in? It was Kyle Shinobi. Uh, not that twat, the tinfoil latter. <laughs> the the tinfoil twatter. Uh, Anita Connolly came second. Good, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. In the flat earth, Anita. Many blessings to you, darling. Uh, Gregor G, welcome. Good evening. Uh, Jeannie. Uh, welcome, Jeannie. How are you? Uh, Anna Souza, hello, babes. How are you doing out there in Portugal? Uh, I've, I've never been to Portugal. I've been to Spain a few times. Portugal's right next to it, isn't it? Uh, I've never been to Portugal. Uh, there's a lot of good vibes. How are you doing, mate? Uh, Carmelo Capiche, welcome for the first time. Uh, did I miss anybody? I don't think I did. Oh, Denise, Denise, how did I miss you? Carol Hipkiss, welcome to the show. 
Uh, uh, Golden Noble, welcome to the show. Happy, uh, happy days in uh, San Francisco, right? Yeah, San Francisco. Right, well, welcome uh, all you students. Uh, thank you for listening, watching, but most importantly, thank you for learning and understanding, understanding the human skeleton, because once you do, it changes things. No, I won't be quiet. No, I won't shush. No, no, I won't be quiet at all. Uh, John Lennon glasses, look, we just mentioned them, and there they are. Uh, they'd fit perfectly on this long, narrow face, wouldn't they, without the Adam Apple. This is a girl, uh, Julian Casablanca's JC code, Jesus Christ, they love to put the JC out there. Uh, the AC, the DC, and the JC. Uh, right, this is a girl all day long. I don't need uh, any more pictures. The neck's as wide as a skull. <laughs> Pink lips, coffee bean eyes. Uh, it does kind of look a bit like Billie Eilish. Uh, maybe, it's, maybe it is Billie Eilish's sister, I don't know. Uh, but let's have a look, see if we can find some gates. Uh, we found one, didn't we? Yeah, I remember now. Uh, one second, let me have a look at the back file and know exactly where I got to on this one last night when we stopped. Uh, I'll tell you what, whilst I'm at it, let me just have a quick look at this. Oh, what a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. Du, 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 du. There's my footprints. David Weiss, Dave Murphy. Oh, we was doing Fly Air for the last time we spoke. Shawnee, <coughs> when you watch this, Shawnee, who was that? Was it a bot? I mean, I'm assuming it's a baller that you did. You said his name was something Mickey Jim. I don't know. Because you spelled the names all stupid. I couldn't look up who it was. <laughs> who you done. Right, uh Porn stars, I, I can, can't stand talking about them. Uh, all the big names, uh, it's a dude, that's a dude, look, I swear down, that's a dude. And I got an FTM of real lot close set eyes, pink lips, keep his bow. I'm seeing a male and female in the wrong order. Uh, but that someone was talking about, they want to know about the bits and pieces. I do not want to, I don't even want to put those images in my mind about what these people have done to themselves. Uh, well, no, they haven't done this to themselves. These ones have not, I, I, I take that back. Um, I'm talking about normal people that do this to themselves. Um, there's a major problem when uh, everything you look at is inverted. Oh, that's a girl all day long. Uh, see, even before it's fitted, look, because I've oversized the face just a little bit, uh, it still fits, look. If it was male, it'd already be uh, springing out at the edges, and it's not. So uh, this is definitely an FTM, look. You can see it's an FTM, right? Don't have to do anything else to it. That's a girl all day long. Uh, so male porn star... Uh, they, have, they want to know about the bits and pieces. All I can tell you is, uh, these ones have to have surgery, right? They have to, unless they're wearing a skin suit where they took all the bottom bits out the way um, and then have sex up the bum bum. I don't know. Look, I don't even want to talk about this shite. But uh, uh, that's a woman all day long. Let's just have a look at this one. I know the head's tilted to one side, but it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't change that ratio. The face will still be there if it's a man. Oh, it's a bit smaller. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's a man. <laughs> that's a dude. That is definitely a dude. Uh, how do I know this? Uh, because of the ratio of the face and the eyes, the side. Right, let's take these skulls away just for a split second look. And you've got... You've got the male and female face, right? In the wrong order. Um, without messing with it, look. Uh, soft eyes, look. Rounded, soft eyes. Uh, the male eyebrow arches upwards in the corners like this. Uh, the woman's is more rounded to match the eye. Uh, small mouth versus big mouth. The major problem right there on the size of those lips. How can a smaller woman have a bigger mouth than the taller man? It's impossible. 
the lioness does not have a bigger mouth than the lion, especially when the lion's... The only time the lioness has got a bigger mouth than the lion is when the lion's a little baby. <laughs> when the lion grows big, he's got a big mouth. He's a lion. Uh, male cheekbones, look. Uh, low, low mounted ears. Small high set ears. Uh, rounded jawline versus a defined jawline. Um, I know it's hard to believe for most of you lads out there that you're jacking off to men, but I promise you, you are. And if you don't believe me, uh, on the skull check that I just gave you, I've been doing this a long time. I can already see that's a woman on the left. The one on the right, because you've grown up looking at these transformers, uh, you you think the man's a... <laughs> you think the woman, who is actually a man, the woman there, who's actually a man, you think he's attractive. Uh, attractive enough to get uh, yourself... All excited over. Uh, there's your end of story, look. Two men walking. End of story. <laughs> there's your dude here. That's your man right there. Big massive feet. Huge space between his feet. Well, that's a dude. Broad shoulders. Long body. Short leg. Uh, as much as you uh, don't want to admit you've been doing it, lads. It happened. It's been. It's happened. It's done. It's not something you can stop. It's already been done. You can only stop yourself uh, by acknowledging uh, your mistakes. Uh, right, back to uh, these people. Hang on, that picture. That's not, hang on. Is that square? Can you see that properly now? That looks like it's properly on my screen. Uh, right, let's come back. Uh, so yeah, when it comes to the bottom parts, uh, they can use doubles, they can use props, they can use skin suits, robococks. Uh, if if they can put a man on the moon and you believe it, what are the odds on them putting a penis into a porn movie and you believe in it? Uh, because the male counterpart has had his bits either removed or is wearing some sort of skin suit uh, with a body double here and there, you know? on close-up scenes uh, where you're not seeing the face and the rest of the body, you're just seeing, you know, the wound. <laughs> the open wound. Right, I'm done talking about porn stars. We're going back to this uh, girl uh, with an Adam's raisin implant. Look at that. What is that? It looks like he's got a spot on his neck. Hello, Tracy Emmel. How are you doing, Trigo? Uh, we're looking at uh, Julian Casablancas. Uh, that noise in the background is Marlo wrestling with the tennis ball that I've just given him, the weedy ball. Uh, we are looking at uh, Julian Casablancas. We have got a gate there. One second, I was looking in the back file before. I got. Wait, did I complete? Hang on, I've got the Bertrand. I got the Picards. I started this last night. Did I not save any pictures? Right, let's come back to you. Uh, let's close that window down. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So let's see if we can't find uh, four more gates on our little dad. Do you know what she reminds me of? She reminds me of Liam Gallagher there. Very, very Liam Gallagher ish. And this bobblehead bullshit. I don't know why people got into this. Uh, bobbleheads. Kind of takes away from the humanness, right? No mouth. Wrong shape. It's a face, but it's not. It's not a human face, is it? It's not a man or woman face. I don't think that's uh, the whole point of this, right? It's not. A, it's not a man or woman face. You know. It's not a woman's face, is it? To look at uh, until you know the skeleton. Uh, it's not a woman's face, and that's uh, certainly not a man's face to look at when you, without the training. Once you have the training. Uh, they jump off the page at you, right? The big mouth versus the little mouth. The hard staring eyes versus the soft staring eyes. Oh, there you go. Tell me you're a Satanist without telling the rest of the world you're a Satanist. Well done. Uh, 666 for Satan. They love their symbols. They love their fake idols. They love their lies. Right? As we've already said, uh, once you get to a certain age and you know you're doing this to the world, you have to become... Uh, what I affectionately call a pathological liar. Uh, and you just go out your way to lie constantly and fool people. Um, I was meant to have left here if not knowing that a man had given me a love bite. I'd have met God and I'd look like it. He'd have played it back for me. Yeah, Peter, remember this? 
do, do, do. clues in the name, Peter. Uh, man, duh. Search. Um, oh, we might have him. I think we have got him. Let's have a look. Uh, I want to see that. It looks like a flamingo. It's just a weird stance and a weird posture. There we go. What is that? Oh, my word. Your feet look all akimbo. There's a nice one right there. There's another one from Flamingo Sidestep. Uh, we'll take that one. There's a second. Flamingo from Full Mint. Uh, what's that? Oh, female Bigfoot. That's an inliner there. Is it him? It is. We'll take that inliner. Uh, what we got here? That's another Flamingo if that's him. No. Which one's him? There. Cut it. Wrong one. What's that one then? Where's my girl? There she is. From Flamingo, no good. There's another one. Where's my girl? I think it's here on the end, in line with the uh, McDonald's arches. Oh, you throw like a girl if that's him. Oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> look at that. You throw like a girl. Do you know what I thought, I thought that was for a split second? I thought it was Ronaldo because of, because of the neck. Ronaldo's got a... For a female, Ronaldo's, Ronaldo's got quite a long neck but um, and muscly, but it measures to the skull, which is wrong. Men's head look like lollipops on sticks. You know, it's mounted on top of the neck rather than blends into the neck. Um, I need one more gate. Is that you there? It is, and that's a nice flamingo there. <gasps> I don't know if that's him or not. Oh, is that him from the rear? Julian with a double stroller. Yeah, it is. Full female gate look from the rear. Look at the size of a booty. You got booty. Uh, right, I think we're done. I do believe we are done. Uh, uh, uh. You see, they can only come and claim your taxes off you, uh, Jennifer, because you own a house. When you own, when you don't own a house, there's nothing they can take off you. The only thing they can do is place you in a prison cell, and the only way they can do that is if you get get you to admit your legal name. <laughs> I like the way God made life real simple for me. Uh, save image, Julian Casablancas. One male, uh, female gate, when it should be male. Uh, Nins Lund, hello. Uh, what about a scientist like Faraday, Tesla? I've sense of all these inverts as well. Yeah, I've already done them all, Niels. I've already done Tesla. Uh, Tesla's a good one, actually, because he... Uh, she, X-rayed her hand. Tesla hand X-ray. Now, as you all know, the ring finger on a man is longer, right? The ring finger on a man is longer. Let's go to Nikola Tesla, who x-rayed his own hand. Which one is it? Uh, this one. Uh, this is the x-ray image taken of Nikola Tesla's hand, taken by Nikola Tesla a few weeks before its official discovery. Uh, Nikolai Tesla has got uh, a longer or the same size a rigid, uh, digit ratio as a woman, as you can see, if it was a man, this finger here should be up there somewhere, and this one should be shorter, like it is with mine. Uh, but there you go, uh, Nikolai Tesla's hand, uh, female, proven he's a female. You should be able to see it in his face, though. Tesla. <coughs> no, Nikola Tesla. There's no gates for Tesla, though. Just had to go on the. Uh, the skull check and the wife should see his wife what in state that is uh nikolai tesla there's a good uh picture where she's on the beach laid in a woman's posture as well there's only a few pictures i could use of it uh, of her of course uh the electricity thing i can see this work in the faraday cage everything because the sky's electric. She's electric. Sky's electric. Uh, <clears throat> you can see uh, lightning comes from the sky. Huge amounts 
<coughs> of electricity uh, can be uh, absorbed from the sky quite easily by building towers. Uh, and there it is, the Tesla Tower. Uh, I think that's not the real one. That one might be a real picture of it, but without the uh, doodah. Uh, but yeah, if any of Tesla's works... Well, Tesla's not real. Tesla... Um, uh, what if a woman's got a longer ring finger? Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. It's just a secondary. Uh, I've met lots of girls with longer ring fingers. I've met lots of boys with uh, medium... Uh, settings on the fingers where they're, they're the same size uh i put that down to uh when you was born taken from your mother's arms and taken away by a, a voodoo witch doctor uh and given uh you know what the pricklers giving you the pricklers uh, i think uh, some of those pricklers contain the wrong uh hormones is my theory. It is a theory because I can't prove it. Uh, um, right now, we're talking La La Land, right? I'm in la, my La La Land. Uh, but it's very rare I talk about La La Land. But I think uh, that they can quite easily uh, swap one of those pricklies for an est estrogen or a testosterone easy, right? And I think that's what it is. Sometimes I only see it in one hand as well. It's like it, that the arm that got injected <laughs> uh, is the one with the longer ring finger than compared to the other one. Uh, but uh, these people are sick, right? They, they've done all sorts to us. They've put fluoride in the water, fluoride in the toothpaste. If they put poisons in the toothpaste, if they put poisons on the shopping aisle and sell it to you and get away with it, uh, then what are they doing uh, in pharma? I don't know. Well, all things will be brought to light, right? Without me delving into La La Land. All things that they've done will be brought to light. God will make sure that you know the truth about it. No, Marlo, get off. You div. Stop it. I'm not playing. You've had your time. He wants me to play fetch. We're not playing fetch. Look at his head. He's gorgeous. When his ears go forward, he's so gorgeous. I just want to kiss his face off. Mm. Uh, right. Tesla, robots. I don't know what load. Of... Right. When it comes, they're saying that... Uh, for a long time they've had robot technology beyond what we could ever imagine and they can make them look like people and these are robots these aren't even pe people these are trans robots <laughs> you you believe anything uh just thinking about the power source the power source alone think about what it takes to run a tesla car how many batteries <laughs> To all the Tesla, and you want me to believe you can make a supercomputer, right? Supercomputers aren't even as powerful as the thickest human living human being, because it's a living. We're living computers, right? So they can't even come close to matching God's uh, bio uh, computer that he made us. Uh, then you got to think about the power source to run this, uh, all the motors, pistons, electrics, all that. It's going to need a fan to release the heat from the... <laughs> like a computer, it's going to need fan. As it walks past you, you're kidding me. Everywhere I look, I, I, there are just nonsense ideas, right? And people go... They spend months, maybe years, looking down the rabbit hole of cloning, right? Cloning can be answered in seconds, right? Uh, they can't do it. <laughs> they can't do it. If they could... Uh, there'd just there'd, there'd be loads of clones everywhere, and they're not. What the only reason they look alike is because they've got the same female skulls. Uh, cloning, uh, they're going to take a hair off someone's head and grow a human, right? But you're going to have to grow it from a baby, 18 years before you can show it to anyone. The celebrity of clones probably dead by then. Uh, but even if you could clone someone, you then got to put all those skills of that celebrity into the clone. For example. Uh, m and you'd have to, the clone would have to rap, sound, dance, uh, think like m and Bollocks! It's all bollocks. Stop me talking about this bollocks. Uh, uh, Tesla, was he a real character? No, of course he wasn't. Is his work real? Yes, very possibly, but not invented by Tesla. It's just a puppet that they put forward uh, for the truth. They have to tell you the truth of what they've done and what they've found. They have to tell you it, uh, and then for you not to believe it. That's the way it works. Uh, that you should believe a lie. Great delusion. 
Uh, Tesla's a woman, close set eyes, small mouth, high set ears, flat forehead. Uh, she looked really bad in the last day, didn't she? Like she was dying, I admit. Uh, but there's a, a picture somewhere, I can't find it. There's one where he's in uh, Long Bruce Lee's School of Eye Wasters. There's one where he's laid on the beach. Uh, Nikola Tesla, wife. Let's have a look at the wife. This will end it for you, look. You want to go out, you little div? Come on then. Day, 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 day. You better not put marks out there, go on it. Himself. All hyped up with a tennis ball. Now he wants to go hunting foxes. Right, Nikola Tesla's wife. Uh, Albert Einstein's was a, a good looking one, wasn't he? Uh, 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 uh. There. Look at the soft shape and eyes of. Uh, he's got came in the fog eyes, hasn't he? And she doesn't. Uh, he doesn't. Uh, where's that picture? Of Tesla and his wife. Oh, there he is on the beach lot, laid like a woman. Tell me you're a woman without telling. Look at the way he sat, the posture of it. How bizarre, how bizarre. Yeah, Nikola Tesla, they're all inverts. End of. Right, let's finish this uh, JC, this uh, Julian Casablancas. Oh, there was no more. Right, we're getting gates. <clears throat> <coughs> You throw it like a girl. I'll take that picture actually. Uh, we can take that one. Uh, request was was it yesterday? I think we did request yesterday. I've got a list up there. At least twenty thirty names. And I've got a load off Facebook to do as well. I've got to grab them. From Alice Alice. There is nothing there. soft eyes that's a girl till the cows come on uh, let's get a 50 50 of that face that one should do it I think coffee bean eyes that looks close we'll take it if it's no good I'll come back and get another one uh, end uh, we're done uh, Julian Casablancas is a woman next uh, Fabrizio Moretti sounds Italiano. Uh, musician, drummer for the Strokes. Okay. Images. Oh, we're done. That's a girl. All day long, she's a girl, and that's a boy. Uh, knees uh, together, knees crossed over. That's, it, Next step, that knee will open up and come outwards, knees apart. Uh, but that's knees together, look, space between the feet. That's a man with straight legs, and that's a woman in full mints. It's a woman. Uh, Fabrizio, there's another one, Fabrizio. Look at these two. Full mints in, look, and there's a boy in the middle with boobs. Forensics doesn't lie. People do. Uh, just remember, boys and girls, uh, trust no one. Put your faith in God. God's the only place you can put it and you'll get a decent response. <laughs> Everywhere else I look, I just find lies and liars. And uh, Jesus pre-warned me, right? He, he told me what was going to happen. He told me who was going to do it. Um, but because they retranslated the Bible, uh, I'm sure it was in much plainer text what was going on uh, in the Bible. And I think they just... It's the truth still there. Jesus talks about this. 
He talks about the eunuchs and the uh, the drag queen army, etc. He talks about it. Oh, it's just uh, they covered over it. You know, the first of all, they made the Bible unbelievable, right? Through propaganda and hearsay and all the rest of it, uh, they made the Bible unbelievable to people. Uh, and it took them thousands of years until they had the technology to fake space to put the boot in. By the time I was born, hello Sammy, how are you doing darling? Um, by the time I was born, everything was already in place. Uh, men were already women when I was born. The forensics doesn't lie. Men walk with a space between the legs like this dude and women cross the legs over when walking. It's a proven fact. You only have to go to uh, footprints in sand or footprints in snow, footprints in mud. And as long as you've got two uh, corresponding skeletons, male and female, you'll have two different tracks. And it is a shock to the system what they've done is it's it's psychotic it's deranged why would you tell us that we're descended from monkeys why would you why would you go to all of this um degree of lying about space about rockets being descended from monkeys the world spinning water bends why would you tell all of these lies for no reason there must be a reason that these people are lying to us and there is one and it's the most <laughs> miraculous unbelievable story you could ever imagine and it's that god is actually real god created you and every life down here and these people don't like god they hate god and more to the point they hate you if they can lie to you this way they must hate you also and why why would they hate you what's different about you to them and the difference is god created man and woman in his own image God created man in his own image. You are the image of God. Each and every one of you are his image. You're not him. You're the image of God. And you know good from evil. Because Adam and Eve ate from the tree of knowledge. Jesus said, ye shall be like gods. And you are. You can create and destroy things in an instant. Uh, you can create a relationship, destroy it. You can create trust and destroy it. You, all these things that mankind never did before uh, has been normalised. It's all been normalised. Only one man stood the temptation in all of history. I know that's a woman, but only one man stood on the mountaintop with the devil himself. 40 days and 40 nights of temptation. And he denied Satan everything. And he would not bend his knee. All Satan wanted was for the son of man to bend his knee to him. And worship him as God. Not God himself. So they removed God. They made God stupid to you. A, a stupid idea. You, it's more likely that you descended from a, a monkey. Nonsense. There were two skeletons in this world. That's why there were two toilets. Males and females. Two skeletons, two toilets, two types of showers. Men's and women's. It's the way it's always been. And they all tell you a lot. Look how close together her eyes are. Flat forehead, tiny ears. That's a woman with a beard. However... She spoke the truth. Man created God in his own image. Really? Uh, philosophers reverse the process. They create God in theirs. Exactly. Um, 
when you hear the song, he's got the whole world in his hands. He probably uh, could grab the whole world in his hands. The earth is like a footstool to him. Uh, so when looking at the shape of the earth, by definition, it would be uh, flat and boxy if it was like a footstool. The Bible speaks of it being stood on four pillars. And in each corner there are four angels holding back the winds. So for me, it's definitely a square shape. Even if they rounded off the map, uh, it's still a square shape to me. Uh, and if, if it's like a footstool to God, then God, when he shows himself again, he's going to be visible all around the world, right? That's what Jesus said. When the Son of Man comes again, uh, everyone will see him. Everyone's going to see God. And uh, there'll be great sorrow, great gnashing of teeth when people realise the mistake that they've made, that they believed a lie. And no, I don't believe God is a beardy man in the sky like this. This is just their interpretation of the Heavenly Father. Uh, nobody's seen Jesus, nobody's seen God. It's, it's, a, it's a fallacy. But the Bible says in the beginning, the Spirit of God moved across the face of the waters. If I'm created in his image, and his image is spirit, then the spirit of God is inside of me, just as the way the Bible speaks, uh, that I was created from the dust of the earth, zinc, carbon, iron, all these minerals are in my body, I was made from the earth, and he breathed life, life into me through my nostrils, then that is the spirit of God inside of me, which is why uh, when I was at the police station, I said there's a little bit of Jesus in everyone, a bit, a bit of kindness, even in... Uh, the flip flops there's got to be some kindness in there uh, even if it's only to their own kind there's some kindness there's something that makes them uh, the same as you as long as uh, <laughs> as long as uh, they're born here the same way you are uh, they might have changed themselves on the outside but the innards are the way God made them uh, God chose you to be a boy or a girl, to have that divine femininity or that divine masculinity. God decided what you was going to be. You've gone against God's will. Um, if God's real, you've gone against his will. And uh, that shame will be yours, right, when you meet him. As mine will be for all the things I've stolen, all the lies I've told, the times I've cheated everything things i can't even remember doing it, it's going to bring it all back for me god knew that the devil was going to deceive us like this he knew what there was what was going to happen and <clears throat> how how cunning uh satan actually is because god uh sees the future right god sees all things so he put a he put a safe uh, zone in for us that we can be saved and we can go back to him because we didn't know what we were doing. That's what Jesus said. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. And this is the truth. All the way up until learning this, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know the things I was saying. Teaching my son that he was descended from a monkey and that the world spins, I was telling outright lies that were told to me as a child as the truth without any kind of evidence for what I was teaching him I just forced it on him you're spinning even when he questioned it yeah but why can't I feel the spinning because you can't it's too big yeah but it's still spinning doesn't matter it's too big the bigger it is the bigger the force you'd feel it even more <laughs> killing me Right, go on, go and lay down, you're not getting niche. I'll tell you what, do you want that big chewy stick? You want that? You want that? You want that? It's how you want. Yeah, that's a big chew stick. 
Oh, that keep quiet. Don't bother me. Get off, get off. Go on. Yes, I love you too. Go and lay down. You're not having that up here. Going in your bed. Go on. In your bed. Divvy. Chewing that massive chew stick up here. Good evening, Ruth. So before Amalo just interrupted me, you little bugger. Um, there you go. And the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground. Um, I don't like that word, the Lord God. Because in the beginning it says God and it becomes Lord God. It's like something changed. I don't like that. Um, but our bodies are made from the ground. I agree. Scientists have discovered 59 elements in the human body are all found in air. Of course, of course they are. It's written in the Bible. It's them telling you the truth. And then you don't believe the truth when you hear it. When, when they say, oh, God created you from the earth. You believe a scientist when he tells you you, you created a 59 elements from the earth's crust. When, but when you're told that God formed you from the earth itself into a living being. No, no, God didn't do that. Um, it's just, it, it's beyond me. It is how I believe this lie. Um, there are very few pictures of Jesus uh, that match the right template. I'll tell you now. Uh, I went through loads of them. And loads of them don't match. The only time you're going to get a match on a Jesus face is if a real man drew him. And he wasn't drawing it from their, their pictures. He just drew the male dimensions. Then you're going to get a male Jesus face. Uh, but you're not going to get the right colour. Jesus could have been any colour. He was born in the Middle East. But he's pushed on me as being a white man. Um, it's just, it causes division in people. Uh, uh, because they believe that there are different races uh, there is no race if there is a race it's a human race a mankind race that's it uh, we come in different types but we've all got the same skeletons we've all got red blood we all go to the toilet we all fart in the bath you know it's just it really is beyond me uh, when people start splitting hairs um, this is why people hate religion because they invented God over and over again in different forms so that when we got to now, Revelations, the, the, the main bulk of people are going to argue amongst themselves rather than admit that there is a creator and that they don't know that that book that was written by man has got everything in it that should be in it. Or translated correctly. You just have to take their word for it. Uh, when I hear the word. That's God's truth. God is the word. In the beginning there was the word. The word was with God. And God is the word. What they're talking about is the truth. God is the truth. So when you hear people saying. Uh, uh, word. When someone says something. And the other guy says word. He's saying true. You know. It's the word. I do pray for the world. I pray for the world so often it's unreal that enlightenment will come to everybody that deserves it. God said he's going to send great delusion to those that don't deserve it. Uh, these are the people that won't care. Even when they find out the favourite football team is full of women, they won't care. And that's not good enough for God's standards, right? You know it isn't good enough for heaven. That's why Satan's down here. He wanted to do this in heaven. Uh, but didn't get away with it. The Almighty Father is exactly that. Why God created man? It's a good question. <laughs> uh, he must look down and frown and sob and weep. And then there are other times that he's, I'm sure that he's absolutely filled with joy. A rejoicement in his own creation and the way people natural people actually are when not influenced by Satan's uh, lies no matter what they've done in this world right all the lies there's still a whole load of good people loving people caring people 
great people uh, still in this world, even with everything that's going on and all the pressures they put everybody under. Uh, Marlo, will you stop that, you div? I'll give him a big chew stick and now he's making the right noise with it. Um, making it uh, unbearable, making life unbearable uh, for natural people. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Uh, the people that I see are homeless, uh, they're naturals. Uh, the people that are sick and dying, they're naturals. Uh, the people that are persecuted every day are naturals, is what I see. And whether these people know it or not, they're part of it, right? They're, they're part of this web of lies, right? Let me put him in the kitchen. He's going to keep chewing that. Come here, you. Take this. Oh, that is dated. Get that one. Get that one. Get that one. Get that one. Get Yeah. You want that in there? Can't think whilst he's chewing that bloody bone in front of me. Um, the, the common man and woman lives their whole life and they, and they die miserably. Most of them die miserably and unhappy uh, without even knowing where they lived or where they were for 80 years. And then dying, the curtain goes up, the veil goes up for them and you, your spirit's risen. You go to meet God and he's like, take a look at the earth. And you face him, it's flat. It's flat. That's the first words that are going to come out of your mouth. Because on the way to ascension, uh, to heaven, you're going to see the earth. God's going to show you it in all its glory. And you're going to realise that you've been hoodwinked all your life. It's like Stephen Hawkins, Ricky Gervais, they all pushed no God. Like Stephen Hawkins said, there is no God. Where is it? Uh, Stephen Hawkins no God there you go brief answers right you're taking the words they're not even words <laughs> not even fucking words right and you're telling me this is the cleverest man in the world it's not even a man it's a woman for starters that's a woman that is a woman with no teeth right there you're telling me that woman there is smarter than God. That's what you're telling me, right? This lying, deceiving twat is just a puppet, right? I don't blame Stephen Hawkins. Uh, he probably didn't say any of this. They just said it. Couldn't even speak a word of English and you're telling me it's the smartest bloke in the world. You're off your fucking heads. There is no God, Stephen Hawkins, 2011. There is no Stephen Hawkins, God, 2018. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful, because that is the truth. Uh, yep, Stephen Hawkins clearly went to hell. There's no stairway. Uh, he's not getting up the stairway. There's no way he climbed the stairway. I agree. Uh, whether these people are forgiven by God, that's up to God, right? It's not for you and me to decide. It's up for up to His Holiness Himself uh, to decide uh, what what these people went through. Um, I find it despicable uh, that they put somebody in this way of life, this condition, uh, forward as the cleverest person and then put them on, you know, if this person had any cognitive reality left in him, here, uh, I don't know what she would have thought about the things they said. See, that's the thing about getting older. You get closer to God, right? <laughs> you do. Uh, I'm glad at the age of 40 that... Uh, oh, Nike, Nietzsche, Joseph Nietzsche said it as well. God is dead. And in 1900, God got him back. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, these people, uh, if there is any cognitive reality inside uh, Hawking's, the closer she got to God, the more it would have paled. It would have, every, everything in life would have paled, right? To, to the, to the realisation that uh, you've lied to everyone and now you're going to go meet the person you lied about. 
They invented space and all this nonsense to hide the creator. It's that simple. I was brought up in a Western world, in a Western culture. Uh, the words of Jesus Christ mean the most to me of all the religions I've looked at and listened to. Uh, Christ's words had more impact on me than anybody else's. Uh, the truth, uh, you shall know them by their fruits. The times that has come, become prevalent to me over and over again. That I knew people by their fruits and ignored it. Especially during my flat earth years. Uh, with the likes of Jibby and uh, all the ones that hated Jesus. Uh, all the signs were there for me that I was surrounded by Satanists. Uh, invert, but I didn't know they were inverted at the time, I didn't. Uh, but all the signs were there that these people were Satan's minions. And just because they said the world was flat and agreed with me on that, I called them my internet friends. Uh, which is why I said last night, and I've said a few times now, uh, I keep people at a distance. After losing my son for two years, uh, I keep people at distance. It's that simple. In the real world, different matter. When I meet you in real life, it's totally different from talking to you on the internet. I'm a real living man, and if you don't believe me, go look at my videos. Learn forensics, study the gates, and you'll see it. And if you still don't see it, go watch my videos where I'm talking to strangers. I'm the only one that does it. I'm the only one that goes out there on the streets. Because I'm that uh, assured by God and the truth uh, that I can talk about this to absolute strangers. And I do. And I don't care what they think. I literally don't. If I walk away and they're thinking he's madder than an atta, I still don't care. You got your information. You got your message. It was your chance to uh, wake up when you met me or you met one of you lot out there speaking the word of God. I'm not talking about religion, I'm talking about the truth. And in the truth you find God, you really do. In the truth of the human skeletons you find creation and there's no other explanation for it than that you have a heavenly father. You didn't come from aliens. There's no such thing as space. So aliens is another, it's another flip-flop invention. It's another lie by Satan. That's why they invented, um, what do you call it? The, uh, the Bigfoot nonsense. They wanted people to believe in Bigfoot because then you've got a remnant of uh, Monkey Man, haven't you? You've got Monkey Man uh, evolution still prevalent because... People are out there touting videos that this is there. Look, I've got a picture of Bigfoot. I've got a video of Bigfoot. Uh, it's the same with the UFOs. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. They just make it up as they go along. And because it's on mass media, mainstream media, um, the masses believe it. And they do. I saw a guy walking through the park today who was struggling. He really was struggling. Uh, when he told me, he, well, I didn't, I didn't ask him anything. He just told me this is what's happened. And my first question was, did you take the jibby jabby? <laughs> uh, people are oblivious to uh, the truth. We were oblivious to the truth, right? We were. Uh, some of us might have picked up on a few of these MTFs but I never picked up on a single FTM and we were oblivious to uh, the spell, the magic the veil that they pulled in front of our eyes but as far as I'm concerned this is the last veil you're on the last veil boys and girls revelations uh, using this veil to see through people's skeletons ends all questions doesn't it, you know it does for those of you that have common sense and an IQ high enough to work this stuff out for yourself uh, without being told, you know. Uh, I do leave a few things in my videos cryptic because I want you to work it out for yourself. I want you to go and do some research on something uh, rather than just spewing an answer. When you learn something for yourself, and I mean truly learn it, you don't forget it. Uh, 
an earlock, a picture of Jesus with a Templar cross. Uh, it's just their painters, right, at the end of the day, uh, their translation of what Jesus' words are, but even their translation of his words are still you know, overpowering. I don't know what, it, he would have been the real OG of his time, wouldn't he? He would have been a truth-spitting, lyrical gangster. He would have, he would have put flames out left, right and centre. He would. Stowed the proud waves of many a, a liar as he met them. And God expects the same of you. He expects you to follow in his footsteps so that when you meet him, you can say, I did some righteous things on earth. In your name. In God's name. Oh, look at this. Lagging me again. Oh, you dickheads. Um, I've got a gigabyte internet now. I'm not getting any YouTube ain't receiving. That's stopped. But I'm just having problems going backwards, look. Through my browser. Uh, pictures. I've already looked at lot. It's taken me 10 seconds to go back picture at a time. This is a joke. This never used to happen. You changed something. If I'd been born in India or a different country, uh, I'd have still found God. It would have just been under their uh, message, their messenger, not... Jesus was my messenger in this case, you know? And I've said it before, they hate him. They literally hate Christ. Even the ones that say they love him are just faking it. And they hate, they hate his name. They hate any goodness uh, being associated with him. When uh, there is only goodness associated to him, right? It's the only person in the history of mankind that whipped bankers. And people don't like him. <laughs> uh, show me this picture. What is wrong with this? There we go. That's a close. Right, we're taking that. We're done. Uh, right, who's this? Uh, Fabrizio Moretti. Do you know what? That name, you better not have done him. Please don't tell me I've already done for Brizzy Owen. Right? That name rings a bell now. Moret. Matthew Moret. Uh, Moret. Lovely. Uh, right, we haven't done him. Coffee Bean Eyes, we're done. I'm out of here. Next. Uh, Nick Valenci. Uh, again, same band, The Strokes, Images. Look at those eyelashes. Gorgeous eyelashes standing out to me. Fake Adam's apple. Uh, let's have a look at your pink lips there. Never, ever, 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 ever underestimate pink lips on a man, folks. Uh, this is the person we're looking at. Tiny skull. Really narrow, thin skull. Cupid's bow on the top lip. Pink lips. Small, high set ears. Close set eyes. That is a very small and narrow triangle look. A very small and narrow triangle. Uh, that could be 50-50. No, it's a bit smaller than I wanted. Let's see if we can find one that is 50-50. Right, right, pictures. Uh, that one's closer to 50-50. It's like 25 above and 25 below. I think that would be. It's not all his face in there, though. Yeah. Uh, what's that? Something closer than that. There we go. That'll do nicely. It's not perfect, but close set eyes, small lips, the wonky chin look. Uh, let's go walking with Nick Valencia. There were no pictures, so I think we're leaving. Yeah, we're leaving. We're out of here next. Uh, Strokes again. Albert Hammond Jr. Let's have a look. I don't think we'll be getting this one either. Uh, Coffee Bean Eyes. 
the sloping jawline, the fake Adam's razor implant. Look, look at the pink lips again. Look at the Cupid's bow. Look at the soft eyes. Look at the beautiful eyelashes. Never underestimate those beautiful eyelashes, I'm telling you. When you see them in real life, when you see a man with pretty eyelashes, you're like, huh? Because I've seen it twice since I've been doing this. Stop shooting your tracks, right? We're done, there's no pictures. Walking, wasting your life, but I'll put it in for you. Oh, there's one, maybe. Oh, maybe we'll get her. Look at that. Knees together, knees parting, look. Broken leg there, straight legs here. Uh, broken leg there, broken leg here. Uh, is that another one there? We actually got him. Oh, we have actually got him. I didn't think we had him, but we do. There's a full mince. There's the boyfriend marching like a bloke. Look at the stride on that boyfriend. Look how far down the hand comes. Uh, we got another one there then. Come on, give us another one. We have right there. Lovely. Jared, love your work. Full diamond in there, lot. Full diamond, beautiful. Uh, and I do believe we're done. I don't think we're going to get any more. Maybe. What's that? No. Oh. No. No. No, 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 no. I think we're done. Oh, we're still going. Is that you? Oh, it is. Uh, that's another one. Now we're done. Nope, we're still going. Nope, still going. I thought it was done. Now we're done. There we go. Right, four gates it is then. Let's take these pictures. One. Two. Backwards, come on. Nope. Uh, that's nice. Village. There's another one, three. Not copy, so there we go. And one more? Or was that it? No, that was it. I just need your face. I think we'll take that one. Looks okay. Save image. Uh, and we're done, just like that. Uh, Albert Hammond, I didn't think I was going to get you, but I did. Thanks for playing CSI. Next, Joss Stone. Do you know what? I think I've done Joss Stone. Let me have a look. Copy. Let's have a look in the back file. We are at 15 plus thousand celebrities. Most of the big names have been done, and Joss Stone has been done. This has already been done, folks. I mean, you only have to look at the teeth, look. Big massive lion smile, strong long arm, lot of a man. Uh, but the proof, proof is always in the pudding. Walk. Let's see him walking like a man, and then we're done. And there it is, look. Straight leg, knee and foot punching straight forward, lot. It's a man. If this was a woman, the leg would be pointing outward and then inward. Broken leg, flamingo foot. End of story. It's a man. It's a man. And yes, uh, this man has been taught to walk like a woman. So some shots, you'll find him trying to walk like a woman. Look. The only problem is, his knee and his foot is looking forward. Both knees and feet are looking forward. And I do not have the beautiful diamond between the legs that should be there from the broken leg. Uh, regardless of uh, the, the stance, the diamond remains. God made it real simple it's a man look straight legs knees are together knee and foot looking straight forward they're all men it's the hardest part for you to accept is that it's all of them and i get it i understand where you're coming from when you're having problems with it but when you come on my timeline please don't tell me i'm wrong if you're going to tell me i'm wrong provide the evidence because if you provide evidence like this of a man pretending to walk like a woman you still not provide evidence you've just you don't understand what you're looking at. Women do not look like this. With massive long arms, long necks, cannonball heads, huge massive feet. These are not feminine traits. So you can try and show me a picture like this and say, now you're wrong, Pancha, that's a woman. 
But I've been doing this long enough to know that's a man with a perfectly straight leg lock at the back. Perfect. Well, they're both perfectly straight, but that's a perfectly straight leg at the back. And it should be coming outward and inward. Broken leg. The flamingo foot. You want to see what a flamingo foot looks like? You go to, I don't know, Ryan Gosling walking. We'll just pick. I like Ryan Gosling because he's really easy to pull apart. Uh, da, 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 da. And as you notice, look, the knee and the foot is looking outwards. Got it? Uh, and there's a thigh gap there showing me a diamond. You see the sunlight coming through, look. Uh, there it is again. There's my diamond look with the sunlight coming through it. Diamond shape in the legs. Only a woman's legs can create this stature, this posture when walking. Because only a woman's legs are shaped broken legged look. Straight leg, straight leg. Broken leg, broken leg. It's about the joints and the knees. Once you understand it, you can't go back. Let's go back to Josh Stone. Josh Stone is a man uh, and he forgets to walk like a woman in numerous pictures. Uh, we're done. Josh Stone's done. I've, I've already done it. Next. Oliver Pocher. 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 Uh, I don't know. Let me have a look in the back file. P-O-C-H-E-R. P-O-C-H-E-R. No, I don't have a potcher. Let's have a look. He's a German comedian, entertainer, personality and TV host. That's a woman. Straight away, the coffee bean eyes, the crow's feet, uh, the lacking of a brow bone, the pink lips, the small high set ears, the flat forehead. I've got no track here. That's a girl to the cows come home. That's just your skull check, look. You learn to do this yourself. You look at them and it will just pop out. Look, cat's eyes on the left. Uh, rounded coffee bean eyes on the right with crow's feet, pink lips. The big mouth versus the small mouth. The big ears versus the small ears. The big eyes versus the small eyes. And the only place a woman beats you is the small head versus the five head. That's the only place the woman beats you on the face. Uh, and there you go. A soft face, small skull woman look with no chin. It eventually goes chin, neck look. Here, it goes backwards at least three inches look till you get to the neck. This is a man with a jutting out face. Uh, when you're looking at a side profile, you know, like proper side view, and you draw a line down the front of their eyes, the woman's chin sits back off the line. The man's chin passes the line usually. It protrudes over that line uh, because we have sticky out chins. We have bigger feet. Look at that dude. Look at that neck. Look at this neck and then look at that neck. End of story. Oh, and the twat on Facebook this morning who said, you said women have, can't have long necks. No, I didn't. I said men have got longer necks. A woman can have a long neck, but when you put the male counterpart next to it, the man's neck is still bigger. Always is. It's what makes him a man. Uh, men have heads bigger than the necks. If the neck's long, the head's bigger, you're looking at a man. If the neck's long and the face matches the neck like Ronaldo, you're looking at a woman. Ronaldo. Cristiano. Ronaldo. Cristiano. There you go. Oops. And that is not a male neck. Just remember it. It's long for a woman, I admit, but it's not a male neck. It's not even, it don't even come close. Uh, when they come, when women are compared, look, look at this. The head is the same size as the neck almost, look. It's supposed to look like a lollipop on a stick, right? Look how the lines of the head are wider than the neck, look, because the widest part of a woman is in the hairline, right? Wider at the top than she is at the bottom of the neck, right? And you go back to this picture, look at that head. It's way bigger than that neck. And that's the difference in male and female necks. Uh, and there you go, if you don't believe me, take a look at the clavicles and neck on him there. Are we done? Can you see him yet? Is he jumping off the page? He's a beasticle. Uh, we're looking at a German comedian, what's his name? Oliver Pocher, 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 I don't know. Uh, 
Nothing. She's not giving me any gates, so. Oh, there's one. She's not giving me any gates. She's got chicken nom noms. Look at that buttock. Look at that chicken nom nom right there. Mm -mm. Papa got a sweet tooth tonight. Uh, there's a nice gate from the rear. Full flamingo foot. Just lay this heel backwards, look. Lay it down and you've got an inline footfall from the rear. Is that him running on stage? It is. Female gait, shoulder tilted. Da, 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 da. <laughs> close set eyes look at the softness and how close set those eyes are the pink lips never ever underestimate pink lips on a man and then look at the size of those eyes and those teeth this is the man on the right the lion shows himself every time he smiles the lioness shows herself in a forehead look but again the skeleton She's still way bigger than him, her, you know what I mean, her, him, her, her. What's that about? What's he got to do with Christ? He better not take piss out of Christ, prick. Uh, again, skeletal. Teeth, on the teeth alone, look, that looks like a Steinway piano. Beastical, honey monster, that's what it is. In honey monster. Tell me you're a Satanist without the rest of the world knowing... You're a Satanist. Look at this. Is that him having a baby? Oh, he's going to have a baby. I think he's having a baby there, look, folks. Because I'm going to have a baby. Really, he's having a baby, look. Oh, the poacher. Not giving me anything, though. Oh, there's one. Oh, nice. In line. Bodyguards. Uh, oh, bodyguards looking a bit maleish, i got to admit. It might just be the angle of that picture. That's a big space between his feet. Do you want to come in, Marlo? One second, I'm just going to put the coffee on. Let Marlo back in. Look at the difference in their skeletons. You're having a laugh. I'm going to put the coffee on. Why is that not clicking on that picture for me? Oh, here we go. I didn't even press backwards. There you go. Look at the skeletons. She got high heels on, don't fucking matter. Don't matter at all. You finish that chewy stick now. Oh, you bloody well out. Why does it smell of poo in here? You done a fire? That stinks, Marlo. You're not getting nothing. You've just got a massive bone. Get lost. Tail. Gosh, you're getting long, Marlo. Aren't ya? I wasn't expecting you to get this big. I thought it was going to be smaller. No! And look, we're big dog. Yes, you're beautiful. You want cuddle? <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, 
my boo boo. Who's my boo boo? Yes. Alright, now piss off over there and let me do the rest of the stream. Get off! We're not doing it. You've got no chance. Don't even look at me. Don't even look at me. Or get in your own bed. Looking at me like we're going out. Oh, here we go again. Look, they're everywhere. Uh oh. I didn't mean to go there. I hate that. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, skeletons. <laughs> Can you see them yet? Is it starting to make sense to you yet? Uh, right. The German comedian ain't giving me any gates. Oh, we've got a flamingo there. That looks in line there. That is in line, that's nice. Uh, no, 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 no. Da, 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 da. Boom, 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 boom. He doesn't look comfy in that red dress, does he? He doesn't, does he? Smile again, rules the roost. Oh, there's a gate. Where was that? Come back. Oh, you bugger. Where's that gate just gone? It was past that one. It was past that one. There's one. There was another one. There it is. That's what I caught my eye. So look. Oh, that's close. Nice diamond in there, though. I do like the diamond. We will take that. We'll take that. It'll do. It's not a perfect mince, but it's bloody close. Is that him with his baps out? What day is it? Thursday night, Nana's got a tiny little titties out. Look at the size of them. Nana. What were you thinking? Uh, uh, we're out of pictures. Uh, that is walking as well. Right, let's see what we got. How many did we get? Four. One. Two. Save image. A three. Save image. Uh, any more? No, I think that was it. Three. Oh no, there's a fourth one there. That's a lot. Very good. Three it is then. Uh, we'll take those three as as, as is, and then uh, your face, Oliver. Hang on, there was another one, wasn't there? Let me go back. Du -du 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 -du. You're just not having it, are you? you? Dickheads. This never used to happen. Why is it happening now? I don't get it. I changed the stream bit right. That's fine. I'm not getting told. Look, not even loading, folks. Google, stop messing with my stream. Dee, 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 dee. Yes, I'll wait. Uh, no, I don't want that. I just want your face, knackers. We'll take the three gates and I'm out of here. Messing around. I'm going to have to remember to take the gates as I find them. Look how much this, look at this. 15 seconds. Ash. I just want your face. That one will do. There was another gate. Let's take that one. I keep pressing backwards by mistake and then it pauses it again. Look. Dang it! Right, who's next? It's David Ramsey. Uh, David Paul Ramsey is an American actor and director. He is best known for his roles in CW Arrowverse. It was Arrow. Never heard of it. David Ramsey. Let's have a look at you. Let's go back to this one. Right, that was a good face shot. Where was it? Just give me that face. That'll do. Take that. Your pink lips, your cupid's bow, and we're done. Save. Done. Next. 
David Ramsey is on the list. I don't know whose selection it is. Uh, but let's have a look at... Uh, hey, hang on. Ramsey, let me have a look in the back file. Ramsey, alley up. Come on, Marlo. Bennett Ramsey, Tanner Ramsey, Anne Ramsey, Matilda Ramsey, Bella Ramsey, Gordon Ramsey. No, David Ramsey. Right, away we go. Uh, he, he looks like Usher. He reminds me of Usher. Soft eyes, no brow bone, flat forehead, high set ears, big mouth though. I'll give you that. He's got quite a wide mouth for a girl. Uh, we've got a fake chin implant by the look. We've definitely got a fake Adam's apple implant. Right, let's find a 50 50. I think that'll do it. We'll take that as your face. Let's go gate shopping. Giving me anything. Alright, we're about to chuck it. Oh, maybe not. What's that? Uh, is that my girl on the left? This one? Could be. I don't know. Right, we're out of pictures. I'm not going to waste my life going down there. Walking. Oh, we've got one. Only one, though. It is a full mince. Jared, you know I love your work, pal. Uh, perfect full mince. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, knees apart. It's a woman. And I do believe that... It keeps showing me this picture here. I do believe that's her. It's not a good shot, though. Uh, 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 uh. There's another nice one. Three. I do believe we're out of pictures again. We are. Let's take these pictures. Daily Mail. Uh-oh. Oh, you let me have it. Thank you very much, Daily Mail. Back again. Uh, I'll take it, knackers. It's still a... A nice diamond in there. We'll take that one as well. Knees apart. Flamingo foot. One more. Full mints. Perfect. We'll go back again. We just need your face. Dave Ramsey tells millions. That's a big face you've got there, mate. There we go. David Ramsey fails forensics, boys and girls. It's a girl. Soft eyed, small pudgy nose. Big mouth for a girl, but uh, secondary. Next. Sebastian Stan. Two first names. Romanian American actor, he gained recognition, Bucky Barnes, Winter Soul, blah blah blah. Captain America, I've seen that one. Falcon in the Wind, never heard of it. Pam and Tommy, never heard of it. Fresh Gossip. Oh, is that Pam and Tommy as in Pam and Tommy? <coughs> right. Images. Wait, Sebastian Stan, let me have a look. Stan should find it, right? S T A N. Stan Boardman, Stan... Oh, there's loads of them. Stan Boardman, Stan Grant, Stan Lee, Tucci, Harry Dean Stanton, Giancarlo, Sebastian Stan. Already got him. Already done it. Too late. Uh, close set eyes, look. Beautiful eyelashes, pink lips, high set ears, a vertical flat forehead. No Adam's apple, no tracky. I don't think I missed anything, did I? I uh, just need a gate. Walking. Oh, I'm leaving. And oh, there's so many to choose from. Uh, that one will do. Uh, flamingo foot on the right, look. Sebastian, straight legs, man, space between the feet, look. Knees apart, knees together. Knees apart, knees together. In the real world, you watch the knees. Don't look at the feet. It's happening too quick. People walk very quickly. Doof, 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 doof. You have to watch the knees. Uh, but there, you're done, right? You see it? You don't need any more. That's a woman. Nice diamond between the legs. Next. 
Thomas Schaffernacker. <laughs> Schaffernacker. <laughs> Sounds like a porn star. Uh, right, images. Is that him with his boobs out? It is. First night, Nana's got her necrotic nipples out. Look at them. They're not even in the right place. And then we've got these V-shaped particles that hang inwards, look. Uh, to the untrained eye, looks like a man, right? You'd think that was a man. The, the, the main pull on that for me is them titties. They are so grossly out of shape. It's unbelievable. One of his nipples is pointing down. The other one's pointing outwards, look. Uh, the doctor needs sacking. That's all I can tell you. She's got a small skull. Uh, Sebastian Stan. We've already done him. Uh, no, Thomas Schaffernacker, sorry. Uh... We haven't done him. Uh, let's find a face. That one will do. It's a bit big. No, it's about 50 50. 25, 35. It might work. Uh, pink lips, high set ears, crow's feet, coffee bean eyes, flat forehead, no brow bone, no Adam's apple, no trachea. Uh, we'll take that as your face, uh, Thomas Schaffernacker. Does he do the weather? Thomas Schaffernacker is a weather girl, a weather girl, a weather girl. She's a weather girl. Who would have known? Uh, we're not getting any gates. Come on, Thomas, don't be like this. The Schaffernackers. The Schaffernakers. Gates. Thomas is Schaffernacker. Walking. Let's see if we can get him. We've had a few German requests this week. Have we got a German student out there? Uh, there's another one. Uh, we've got a nice diamond in there from Flamingo. That's a woman. Uh, we're going to need better ones than that though, Thomas. We're going to need full minces, baby. All the way to the bank. Come on. Come on, Schaffernacker. No, oh, we're out of pictures. I think we're done. That's the only gate by the look of it. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a second crack at a whip, seeing as he's German. He's German. Uh, and see what we get on the street. Uh, anything? Nope. Nothing. Sorry. Thomas Schaffernacker is going to survive the investigation. Well, he doesn't survive the investigation. He survives a meme. You don't for survive the, uh, the the investigation, mate. Your lips. Never, ever, 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 ever underestimate pink lips on a man. We're done. Next. Uh, Jessica de Degau uh, is an Australian actress. She is known for her role as Helena Bertinelli in The Huntress and the television series Arrow. Someone likes the series Arrow, don't you? Uh, right, let's have a look. Jesse DeGrow images. Has, look at his neck. I'm done on the... Oh, my word. Where do you want me to start on that shoulder? Look at that. I could stand a cup of coffee on that. I really could. It's like a sideboard. Uh, oh, my word. Look at this. You're having a giraffe. It's a bloke. Look at the deep set fire. He's got, uh, he's got anal Rhodes eyes. What do they call him? Lana Rhodes. He's got Lana Rhodes' eyes. It's neck o'clock. All day long. You got high set cheekbones, big mouth, long neck. No, don't take me there. I didn't click on that. Ah! What was his name? What was he called? I've totally forgotten. Dang it! I clicked off his name by mistake. What was his name? There he is. I can't see his name. Good. There it is. Jessica DeGal. Jessica DeGal. Oh, hang on. J. 
Jessica de Galle. There we go. Images. Uh, I said images. Right, I need a 50-50. Ooh, that's close. Nah, that's about 60-40. Yeah, that's a 50-50. Uh, male, a short, wide head look. Short and wide, far apart. It's a big face. Look how much that face is filled. Remember, women's faces don't quite fill the skull the same. Uh, we'll take that as your face. Let's even get your gates. Wait, have I done this one? Dig out, dig out, dig out. Jessica dig out. No, I've got Jessica... Simpson, but no Jessica to go. All right, we'll take this one. Images. Da, 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 da. That's a bloke. Look at that. What do you mean you can't tell by looking? That's a bloke with aspirins for boobs. Uh, there's a nice gate. It's hidden though. Size of it. Look at the stature on him. He's a dude, he's a dude, he's a dude, he's a dude, he's a dude. Tell me you're a bloke without telling me you're a bloke. How about we're going gate shopping with Jessica the gal? Did you ever know that you're my hero? Da -da 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 -da. Male clavic, look at that. He looks like a vampire, doesn't he? He literally looks like the walking dead. Oh, he is the walking dead there. Uh, right, just thinking, yeah, walking. <coughs> oh, my coffee. Don't forget my coffee. Jessica the girl walking. <sighs> that is a long arm, isn't it? Look at that arm. Oof, he's got some... I'm the king of the swingers, oh. I'm a jungle VIP. Uh, is that him there? It is him there. Which one? Kate McGrath and Jessica DeGal. Which one's Jessica? Jessica DeGal. Jessica DeGal. Jessica DeGal. I think that one might be Jessica with a big mouth. That'll be him there in the orange. Oh look, that flag says it all, doesn't it? There you go. I'm a trans man. There we go, that's a nice gate. It's a dude, straight, look at a woman in the background, full men, she's even got a shoulder tilt, look. See it in the difference in their arms, look. Uh, that is a good shot, I don't one. I got any more. Out of pictures, uh, two gates. We'll take them when we're done. Come on, there. There we go.
same image. And just like that, we have got a huge man face. Uh, thanks for playing CSI with me, Jessica DeGal. Uh, oh, I can't be bothered. I've we'll just do it from there. Uh, Fatima Lopez, a Portuguese fashion designer. This must be for Anna Souza. He's got big teeth. First thing I notice is those big teeth. Three, six, that's 12 on show. That's a Disney princess smile, as we like to call it, the male smile. High set cheeks, deep set eyes. It's quite a neck on him. He's got long arms. He does have long arms. Long neck, long arms. It's a dude. I think I'll take that as a 50-50. Uh, male cheekbones, large mouth, far apart eyes. It's a big triangle. It's a face filler. <coughs> See if we can get some gates on him, shall we? Look at the state of them. Oh my God, that's a bloke to the cows come out, isn't it, that one? That's just a dude in a dress, you got no chance. At least the other ones look, uh, they shouldn't give them short hair, it gives them away, I think. Uh, the longer haired ones, uh, again, uh, the vine swinging arms should not be there. Telling me uh, this world is uh, normal, is an absolute bullshit of a lie. It's, they're all boys lot, they're all blokes, including the fashion designer. Um, it's the same with all models. Uh, I do believe there are some real models that get on the runways, but they don't become famous. Um, you know, it's not a household name like the red. Oh my fucking weird. Look at the size of that honey monster there. Um, I don't believe they become famous. They might briefly uh, be in the limelight, but uh, that's it. Your 15 minutes of fame or whatever. I don't know. But I have got pictures of real models uh, on the, on the uh, what do you call it? Um, on the catwalk. I have got some real pictures of some real men and women, so they do let them on there, they just don't let them on there very often. Or at least not on a big event. They might get jobs locally or whatever. Uh, but again, it's like people, it's like, it's the same thing with 9-11, uh, uh, you know. 9-11 happened, yeah, it happened, uh, but not in the way they told you. And then you've got, you've always got someone who's like, oh yeah, my brother's sister's aunt, his budgie's dead dog's best friend died in 9-11. Uh, hearsay. Especially when I've got pictures of the buildings empty, you've got no chance. I was speaking to someone online uh, and they were saying, uh, uh, my dad was a, a reporter and he interviewed special stars. If you saw a picture of me and my girlfriend, you'd say we were trans. Uh, that to me was just a massive confession to me, it really was. I told him as well. <laughs> he sounded just like one of them. Uh, I went, no, that's not the case. I'd examine you and your girlfriend first. And if you and your girlfriend uh, didn't pass the test, it's not just about a height thing. I'm not saying you can't get a tall girl and a small man to be together. Of course you can. Uh, but it's usually the other way around. But uh, it can happen. You can get a tall girl or a short guy. It happens. Uh, but I'm not going to be looking just at the skeleton in height. I'm going to be looking at it in detail. Uh, every single one of the uh, liars that I've so far discovered failed the test. Look at the neck on that beast. Um, they all fail the test. If they could pass the test, I'd show you it. But they don't. Do, do. Do, 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 do. And before someone says... Uh, Giselle's sister, who's not even famous. You call her Giselle's sister, for crying out loud. Uh, I can't remember what to call her, Bianca. Even I can't remember, Bianca or whatever. It's not a famous person. And yes, that one picture of Giselle and Raffaella on the beach uh, was given to us by Mr. E. Oh, my. Look, you're going to make me go look at Giselle and Raffaella. Giselle 
Raffaella. Uh, Raffaella. Beach. Why did the gal come up then? Images. Uh, so this picture was given to us by Mr. E. I agree. Right? I agree it was given to us by Mr. E. And Mr. E says that this is a man and this is a woman. Uh, the point uh, that tells me that this is a woman is the short sloping shoulders, uh, the V-shaped non-happening clavicles look, uh, the arm hanging a kingbo to the hip. Uh, she widens just from underneath the elbow all the way down all the way down below the crotch look which is where it should be the widest part of a woman is below the crotch uh, with a short arm uh, i see a female body it could be a man i still agree it could be a man it could be wrong it could still be a man uh, trying to walk like a woman i agree uh, but i think my uh, forensic still says that this is a woman and that is definitely a man. Straight legs, knees together, bony knees, long arms, uh, broad shoulders, massive thick clavicles look, and a straight body, no hip indent. Uh, so if uh, the life is... Uh, what they say it is, uh, this is a real girl. If Mr. E is right, this is a real girl. Uh, I understand there's no triangle, I get it. Uh, but uh, this could be faked to you, right? This could all be faked, this bit here. Could be faked. I could still be looking at a man, I agree. I don't think I am, though. I see the hip indent of a man here and the belly button above it. I see the hip indent of a woman there and there and the belly button below it. Again, they could have tucked and pulled the tummy and moved the belly button. All these things are possible. Uh but I still see the woman on this one, not the man. Uh, intimate time with Josiah's trans. Yeah, I totally agree, they do. Uh, definitely, definitely a man. That one is definitely a man. Uh, this one, however, still debate. that's not a good shot. There are no pictures of Raphael. Actually, <coughs> I tell a lie. There's one picture of Raffaella walking in full mints, and I cannot find it. I did save it, it's on my computer somewhere, but I didn't save it, uh, whatchamacallit, I didn't save it with a name. I wish it was. I wish it was. Uh, right, let's go back. Uh, uh, not all of them, get off my channel, Mongo. Not all of them. Bang, gone. Deirdre Kelly, two first names. Right, I'll tell you what, once I'm at it. Two first names, Deirdre, Kelly, let's shut you down. That's a deep set of eyes. What is wrong with that eye? That looks really weird. Strong neck. That's a man. Shut up. That's a dude all day long. Looks just like a bloke. Let's have a look. Deirdre Kelly says benefits stripped her old life. Is that the same Deirdre Kelly? Is that him? We're done. That's a bloke. All day long. That's a man. End of. See you later. If that's the same person. Is that the same person? I've got no idea. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be looking at. That's a bloke. All day long. That's a bloke. 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 Deirdre Kelly's a bloke. Two first names. Right. Let's continue. Uh, massive long neck. Adam's apple. Uh, they're all men. And so is this one with the big teeth. I need some gates. What's his name? Fatima Lopez Estelista. What's the Estelista? Is that a surname? What does that mean? Oh my word. Look at that one. That one's terrifying. I think we did that one the other day, didn't we? Lily Kaneckers. I think we did. Oh, what's that? Is that him? Because his mum's got a female gait look. <laughs> or his husband, whatever that is. I don't know who that is. You're not going to give me... You know, oh, is that what it means? Stylist. Intelista, a stylist. Uh, okay. Uh, no gates, though. 
this dude does not want to give me his cue line. Male or female. Alright. Uh, uh, all images uh, walking. Please be walking. Dang it, he's standing. Yeah, I guessed it. Anna Susan, I guess that's what it meant. There's no pictures of him walking. That looked like a penis, it really. Look at the length of those arms. That it. What do they call that thing in the in the shadows? What do they call it? Mr. No. He chases you in the game. The stretchy guy. What do they call him? That's what it looks like. There's no pictures of him walking. Uh, there's not a lot I can do, Anna Susan. Walking. Let's try street. Let's try public. No, there's no pictures of him walking, Anna Susan. There's nothing I can do. He stands around a lot by the look of it. But no pictures of him walking. I can't do it. Oh, there's one. Tell a lie. There's one if that's him. No, that's not him. It's another dude. <laughs> look how straight those legs are, right? With a space between the feet. And then look at the woman, the, the man. Look at the man walking like a woman, look with a broken leg, knees apart. It really is that simple, boys and girls. Understanding the triangle there, uh, or the diamond as, as we see it in full mint. Uh, it just gives them away, especially if they're on the stairs. Right, we're done. There's no pictures. I'm leaving next. Uh, Ido Drent, South African actor, working, living in Auckland, New Zealand, best known for his television audiences as Daniel Potts in a long running soap opera, opera Shortland Street. Never heard of it. <laughs> I've heard of Ramsey Street. Neighbours. Everybody needs good neighbours. Uh, we have got, oh, mm, yeah, that's a crappy picture. I've got pink lips, Cupid's bow, soft, close to eyes. It's a small triangle. Uh, high set ears. I've got a really wide five head look at the top. Uh, well, it's not vertical, it is wide. And I've got the sloping shoulders of a grandma. Where's your Adam's apple, by the way? Uh, is that a 50 50? That could be quite close to being a 50 50. That one definitely is. We'll tell that one as your face. Uh, how many teeth on show? One, two, three, four, five, ten. Uh, Gate shopping. Is that you? Because you're done if it is. We're done. That's a woman. There he is coming up ill with a broken leg. Lovely. Flamingo foot. Two. Elbows out in that picture. Girls have a funny way of running. Throwing. Kicking. It's your joints, ladies. It's your joints. It didn't make you quite the same. Uh, na, 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 na. Oh, that's a woman's face. Who's that? I want to know who that is. There she is. Oh, it's what's his name? I can't remember his name, air name, whatever it is. She's an English actress. That's why I recognise that. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Dude, oh wow, pictures. Uh, looks like Ido Drent's gonna survive me walking. Oh, maybe not. Inline footfall. Nice. Oh, we've got three. Uh, there's a flamingo foot. Four. I just need one more, Ido. Oh, wow, pictures. We'll take the four and we're done on four. Save the image. One, two, nice inline footfall there. Uh, back we go, two more pictures somewhere. Oh, come on, don't pause up on me, there it is. Save image, three, and then one more, four with the full mints. A 
and we're done. I just need your face. Let's go back again. And there it is. He reminds me of uh, that guy off Brookside. Well, is a girl. The, the one off Brookside. Oh, I can't remember what they call him. Reminds me of him. Darren someone. Dar I don't know if that's his other one though. Anne Wilson, some man code. Uh, what time is it? Oh, it's 10 o'clock. Uh, right, I think I'm going to go play some Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, we'll be back tomorrow with some more live requests, Friday Night Live. Just remember, God loves you, thinks you're amazing, and he wants you to know it is all of them. There are no exceptions. It can be no other way. He also wants you to know that you were born into the upside down back to front inside out upside down back to front tipsy topsy turvy well uh thanks for watching uh students of forensics until next time good night good night lynn <laughs> every time good night lynn and anna bye 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 anna